speaking of how we got better, we got to go over these. We can't. So Pro Football Focus just came out with a lot of grades for different positions. So let's check out what they have. First, we're going to go cornerback position, even though they got a picture. And, bro, this surprised me. I'm not going to lie to you. I watched a few UW games last year. Mm -hmm. He was strapping. <laughs> he was getting it in. They got him ranked number seven. And they got Preston Hodge all the way at number one. Because when I saw this graphic at first, oh, oh, he's number one. Yeah, I saw it. he was getting it in. But no, mm -hmm. Preston Hodge is all the way at number one. Now, I am trying desperately. I, I did get some all 22 film. I do not have any Liberty film right mm -hmm. now on the defensive side because I really want to be able to watch his film and break down where this grade is coming from. I've seen some clips of him in the slot, and I think that's where he's most comfortable from watching his film. I think at nickel, I like the way he moves. I like his feet a lot in the slot. So I think that's where he's most comfortable. But I have to get film. Like, I'm I'm salivating to try to get some film on him so Bro, I can that's, see where this ranking's coming from. That's wild because, I mean, you look at this ranking and you think you got Travis Hunter and McCain. I mean, this is – that's that's secondary. <laughs> yeah, the secondary could be great. Oh, yeah gonna be loaded especially you say big 12 really that loaded. passing conference so and and i got a video coming up soon but don't sleep on miles slusher i <laughs> like him a lot so yeah the secondary is going to be loaded so we got preston hodge right here as the number one ranked transfer corner then we jump to a position of need linebacker oh don't we need them linebackers highest graded transfers number one the little brother of lejante wester who's going to go bananas for us Jalen Wester the number one graded linebacker transfer from pro football focus that's really big and we also I got the film on him so got film breakdown on him today that we're going to get through and I like him a lot he's undersized uh -huh. but that doesn't matter for the defense that we have okay. and I think the defense that we have coming in the with Robert Livingston he's going to be perfect for it he's going to be a utility guy, Swiss Army knife, interchangeable. You're going to be able to put him a lot of places, and he's going to make plays. He's great against the run, understands how to fit gaps, understands leverage, and he can go get that quarterback too. So, Oh, oh okay. He was, got that little pass rush on him. That's good yeah, too. Yeah, he does. Really so good. this was really exciting to see. He's, he's a missile. I like him. Next, highest graded transfer interior offensive lineman. Once again, Number three, Justin Mayers. So we have the number one corner, number one linebacker, number three interior offense lineman. I think I think we're doing pretty good, man. I think we're doing pretty good. We're excited to see him. We actually have some clips of him uh, from some of the well-off media um, and reach the people mm -hmm. videos of them working out right now during spring workouts. And I like what I'm seeing from him. I like what I'm seeing from him from sure. Well, that's exciting because, you know, I always say, man, we got to get these trenches built because mm -hmm. that's what's going to matter when we get into the college football playoffs. The trench, the trenches, man, you offensive line, defensive line, staying healthy, getting after it. Uh, you know, we get that keep Shadur up right and get that running mm -hmm. game. Rolling. So don't worry. I, I'm happy I got some trench that. guy video for you. I got I got, <laughs> I got some trench guy video for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> then next. Highest graded transfer edge rushers. <clears throat> At number three, we got BJ Green. And I've had a lot of people in the comments saying that, you know, he's penciled in as a starter, like he's guaranteed to start. And I haven't been able to see much film from him, but mm -hmm. stats don't pencil him in if you just look at the stats. Mm -hmm. However, cornerback, and I'd say D-line are the – and even safety sometimes are the positions that you cannot rely on stats to mm -hmm. judge how a player plays. <clears throat> a cornerback can be completely locked down coverage. And if they don't throw his ball, the ball his way, it doesn't matter. That's you know, right. like it's, it's not going to show up. <clears throat> mm -hmm. D line, Aaron Donald. People always argue, oh, he shouldn't, a D tackle can't be, um, you know, player of the year or MVP. Look at his stats. He doesn't have enough sacks. The intricacies of how D linemen work and what the responsibilities are don't always show up on the stat sheet. I sure. talk about it all the time. You can make a play without making the play. 
And that's something that will never show up on the stat sheet. But people that understand football, you know, realize, you know, if you take on this double team and then you allow the linebacker to come in and get a tackle for loss, that tackle for loss isn't going to show up on your stat sheet. But you're the reason that was able to happen. Of course. So a lot of things don't show up on stat sheets. So I'm really interested. And I got some of his film, all 22, to break down his film, see more of how he moves, how he attacks the pass, how he defends the run. Um his How we expect hands. to see him be using that new defense that we bringing in, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, will he be the Trey gonna, Hendrickson? That's the question. I mean, from from what we've seen, man, we got we got a lot of guys that that may be able to plug in there. Mm-hmm. And back to penciling him at, in as a starter in college football, it doesn't matter who starts at D lineman because it's more of a you know D line by committee. They right. do platoon subs which is they're going to end up subbing four guys at once. And you see it all the time in college football. We saw it against Stanford when we kept getting those penalties Mm -hmm. for too many people on the field because we were trying to sub in four new D linemen and sub four off. So who starts at D line doesn't matter as much as who plays and plays effectively. But really glad to see him on this list for sure. Yeah, he's going to do some wonderful things, man. Like I said, on the trenches, we need that pass rush this year. We need to get mm-hmm. out to these quarterbacks. We need to bring some havoc, you know. And um, I get what you're saying about the platoon subs because then you know, the offenses move so fast. So you, you want to keep your defense line as fresh as possible. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You you got to, especially when you got edge rushers and you're playing in high tempo. You mm-hmm. want those guys that are fresh. You want to be able to get in there, get after the quarterback, all that. No, you need to fight through it. Uh-uh. Give me nah, some nah. new guys in there. That can yeah, get some the new guys, right? Let them catch his breath. Yeah, <laughs> get him some new guys in there. So I'm, I'm with it. I'm, exactly. I can't wait to see what me and BJ Green do. 